hello everyone you're welcome to my youtube channel once again today i'm going to be teaching you something very special and um, what i'm actually going to be doing we use it in both praise and worship and i'll be using the example of this song um this Igbo song now i'm playing in the key of c traditionally what you do is Onto your four chord, back to the one, to your five, back to one. So the, the progression is um, traditionally from your one to the four, from your four back to your one. Your five from your five back to your one now so context is very important when you're trying to do anything new or adding nuances when you're playing the keyboard so you need to know the chord progression and how the melodies fit in with the harmony now so one to four and the sulfur for that part is so, so, me, fa. Now, if you've um, been following my previous videos, uh, you know that I stress the issue of melody is king. Now, your far here becomes a very crucial key. It helps you to find any other chord that you can use to replace the four chord because we're moving from the one to the four. Now, instead of your four chord, now remember on your four chord, the far stays on top. Now instead of that, you look for a substitute chord that will still have that note on top. And what I'll do is take this chord. Now this is the C minor 11th chord. This is your C minor 7, 9, 11. C minor 11 chord. while the first one sounds very open and um, traditional this sounds more jazzy then the next set of notes are la la fa mi now on your la now this is your B, um, B uh, major 7th chord, B, sorry, B flat major 7th chord. Now the reason why this is here is because of your La. Remember, melody is key. La, la, fa, mi. The whole of this time, you're on your 4 chord while you're doing that in the traditional play. For example, this is how it goes. That may take you back to the one chord, the traditional way. But we are adding a chord to substitute, uh, like a passing chord while you're playing that last. So you have. Then. This chord here is your F major 7th chord. Melody is key. The Mi is on top. Meanwhile, for the main progression, we usually use your one chord. So, the traditional four, back one, back to one. But what I've transformed right now, you have this. You're still on the one traditionally you play so 
do me all the rest on your one chord. Do me re, this will take you to your five chord. But when you're playing that song, you can use this. This is your E major seventh chord. Can you see this? So. Now, for your re, you have this semitone lockdown. Do mi la on the right, re fa on the left. You hold that whole semitone, um, you take that whole um, chord, a semitone down. So you'll be having D and mi here, T, re and Z here. So you're moving, then the whole thing, a semitone down again. So you use this to replace your saw chord. The semitone walk down will replace your saw chord. So now to round this up, I ain't got zero game man, that's the saw then back to do. While you're still on the five chord, you play this. This is your the minor seventh chord of your D, D minor seventh chord. So you use D pop, you're just using octaves on the left D. Then you have La Do Fa on the right. Re Re, you have Re on the left. La Do Fa, that makes your D minor seventh chord. And you end on this chord. F minor over your D, then it can now resolve back to the one chord. So everything put together, you have this. Now let me sing along. So context is all that matters. So you can take any one to four, back to the one to the five chord to that um, and you use this over it. For example, you are the most high, then over, that takes you to the five. So that's the context where this will work. So over, then you Let's not go too deep into that song. So, but. Then becomes. God bless you for watching. Thank you.